Mobile hunting is an ever-evolving art. Nature is our canvas, our weapons are our brushes, and our favorite color to paint with is red. How you guys doing? It's Bobby from the Outdoor Savages. I want to say thank you guys for tuning in and giving me a couple moments of your time to go over my review of the Shawan Car Shakar One Stick with the Schaefer Cam Cleat Mod. On some upcoming videos, I do have my Shakar Mini Glow in the Dark Amsteel Aider Glow in the Dark on my Scout platform. We're gonna do a how to video and take you through the process and how. I drill these out what size bit exactly to have them compatible with the Schaefer can feet in the grade 8 bolt so stay tuned that'll be an upcoming video we're also gonna do a review video of the rut roost and I do have a one stick comparison video that I'm also gonna kind of display the TOS technique that I use to climb it's just the one stick technique that I'm calling it uh, so I'll elaborate more on that in that video, but on that video I have the EWO Ultimate One Stick, the Shakar One, I'll have that Mini Shakar modded, I'll also have a 17 inch Shakar uh, with a Scout platform, a full length Lone Wolf One Stick, and a V-Stick One Stick that's been modded out with the Cam Cleat and Aider. We'll do a comparison on all those different one sticks, how they grip the tree, how they climb. And as I said, I'll display that TOS technique. I believe that I could get to right around 18 to 19, 20 feet in two moves after my first set. I believe firmly that technique and repetition and muscle memory works through in everything. And it's just a little simple technique that has helped me. But let's get back to where we are here we're going to get into this review of the shikar one stick i'm going to go over some quick measurements a quick overview not really going to compare it too much against the ewo more than size and whatnot like that then we're going to head straight to the woods I'm going to get this on the tree see how it does and the climb how it makes the moves and transition how smoothly how it bites the tree and we'll see if that schaefer cam cleat helped quell that movement that was in the other review video so that's something that i'm very interested in seeing so stick with us we're going to wrap it up at the end i'm going to give you my closing thoughts on the stick and what i plan to do to continue to mod it that's just me personally it's an awesome stick i did have a little hit, bit of hesitation on that sail cleat that sail cleat is a cam cleat cl213 it just wasn't comfortable with me so i went ahead and drilled this out and put my uh, Schaefer can cleat on it. So like as I said, upcoming video will take you through the entire process and how I did it. It was very simple. So stick with me, let's do it. Let's get this thing out in the tree. All right. It's about 10 degrees a day, about a five degree wind chill factor. I picked a good maple to climb up. There isn't any branches on this tree. Uh, that'll be in another video for another time. But I'm gonna set this. I got a tape measure tied onto my belt. So as I get up for two moves, we'll check the height. We'll see how this works with efficiency, grip. Then I'm gonna rappel down. And after that, we'll go back up and take a quick look and up close at the ability for this stick to grip the tree and if there is that movement that we can see in the other video now that this stick has the Schaefer cam cleat. So let's go. Let me get the other GoPro going. Like I said in my other videos, I'm 5'11". That's gonna be roughly about eight feet. I got a three-step aider. Each step, 14 inches. All righty. Uh 
All right, I like to keep my tether to the side that I'm going to make my move on. As I said, I am 5'11". I go just above my head so I can make my next, next move. All right, as I said before in the other video as well, oh, there is a little bit of movement in that already. But let's go to move. Take my mad rock right at about my sternum. Now I'm gonna sit. Into my saddle. Come around. One leg. Bring my toe down. I use the tip of my toe. To come up, there's my release. Hold up, down, the shoe in, throw the tree, lock it in, that's fine. with me as I go. Once again. Maybe we got a little nap back there. Bring your red ball. Sturgeon pipe. Sit into your saddle. Sit. Toe down. Pop up. Toe on the side. Rope always under your tether. Now that I'm at my second move, I'm gonna tie a quick half inch. Out, down. Toe on the side, toe to the tree, that's left, all right, that is two moves, bring my tether up, I like to take my tether, about forehead height, Tied up. I up. Well, so would you better go down, see where we're at in two moves. A little over 20 feet, about 20 and a half. There you guys go. Two moves. 20 feet. Let's repel down. I always come close to the tree to take tension off my tether line to make it just a little bit easier. Remember to undo your night eyes gear tie before you repel. And me, myself, I like to turn my tether to the side just a bit so I can come down. I keep my excess repel line figure aided and then tied up with the night eyes gear tie. Gear tie. Stick on there. Yeah. Let's stick it in the pocket for now. Alrighty. Let's uh, repel down. Hand goes to hit. Come out butt to about level. Start walking her down. Come here. 
come in close. And do our half inch. There we go. Hand back to hip. Come off the tree. Sit back into her. And we're down. We're about to climb right back up. I'm going to set the stick. And we'll get kind of a close up on how that moves. Stuff like that. So, All right, y'all. We're at the base of the tree still. Got this Shakai one stick ready to go back up. And to be honest with you, after deploying this into the tree and having the clam cleat CL213 on here and attempting this versus the Schaefer, I have to tell you, um, it is twice as easy. It's more familiar. Um, so I am very happy that. I added the Schaefer Cam Cleat mod on there. So let's get up here real quick. That's it. Pretty good as if I was climbing to give a real hunting scenario. That does move. You want to come in on it? But I think that's way less movement than what I felt when I had the clam cleat. There still is some give, but this is a hardwood and I can stand. Now for when I have a weak side shot, I like to spin. That's kind of why I keep my rappel bag on my right hip because as a right-handed shooter, I have my bow here and usually my camera arm on that side. If a deer is coming in from my weak side, I think about that to pass my bow in between myself and the tree and then I spin. Ooh. So this is a tight squeeze for that spin move. My boots kind of slipped. I will say that. But the side pressure felt okay. Yep, the side pressure. I do not feel give, so no. I think it's a really good stick. The Schaefer cam cleat really helped out. Um, Man, it's going to be hard to choose between this and the EWO with this Schaefer cam cleat now. Like I said, uh, I got a few thoughts in the, the wrap-up video about the mods. Um, I'm planning on adding some EWO ultralight standoffs to this to give me another inch of clearance from the tree. So that's one of them. Got another aider, glow-in-the-dark step, things of that nature I was thinking about. But man, as is... I must say, after adding the Schaefer cam cleat, I really, really like the Shakai one. So, thanks a lot, man. We're going to spin out of here. Then I'll spin through with a quick wrap-up section. All right. All right, you guys. I just want to say thank you guys for spending a couple moments of you guys' time with me today. To wrap this up, I think that the Shakar one stick is going to be a very tough competitor to the EWO Ultimate One Stick. Um, I've hunted with this for the rest of the season since I've got it, which was in December. And this is a tough thing to beat. But with the Schaefer Cam Cleat added on to here, um, I think this one's going to compete with it. Like I said, I am going to add some EWO Ultralight standoffs. It will give me about another inch of clearance from the tree. And then I do have custom glow-in-the-dark aider on here. I did attach it onto my EWO 
um, aider as well kind of helps my aiders pop up more in the dark as I'm going up you know if I'm hunting in the morning and whatnot but yeah um, really enjoyed the stick did not feel comfortable with the clam uh, cleat CL213 so I drilled it out I put a shafer on there I will be coming to you guys with the mini mod and we'll take you through exactly how we drill it out, go through the exact uh, size bit, everything step by step, show you guys the drill press and all of that. So stay tuned. We got the modded mini Shakar, putting the Schaefer cam cleat video coming up. I have the uh, review video on the rut roost that came in with my Shakar as well. And then I have the one stick comparison video. Like I said, the EWO one stick, the Shakar one, the modded Shakar mini. I have a 17 inch shakar a full-size lone wolf a bee stick modded one stick and possibly i have been t talking with them fellas that hunt like ninjas in the woods there's whispers that they have a one stick coming out so stick with us hopefully we'll get our hands on that i know we will as soon as it comes to market maybe a little bit sooner but again this is bobby from the outdoor savages man thank you guys for tuning in